hello guys welcome to my channel currently we are dealing with edit operations and we have completed all this edit operation except find replace and find nest so in this video we are going to start with find operation and we will be including more and more classes here and to start with let's go to this folder and add two new classes so click on add and add class so the let's name the first class as find nest search actually this is a query class which contains all the information needed to make the search let's make it public so this class will have a number of parameters here so we are going to deal with search string so what we are going to search for in the content and we will be also having direction whether it's se searching in upside or uh, down downwards so both directions are possible in this search and we are going to have it as a string itself and it will take two values up and down we can have a boolean variable that match case so whether the search is case sensitive or not and we are going to have the complete content itself the whole content that is available in the text area and we are going to have a position so if the search is successful from where the particular string is available and also we are going to have success this indicates uh, the result of actual uh, search query and let's add a property for each and every field we have uh, introduced here so it should be simple just click on uh, control dot and uh, add the properties so this class is complete we have five different fields here and uh, each one has different purposes and this is mainly meant for uh, the results of uh, search operation and uh, this is basically to define the search operation so this class is complete let me add another class add new class let's name it as find next result let's make it as public let's have uh, two fields here boolean search status and another int selection start so as the name implies we are going to save the starting of the selection point here and uh, let's add the properties for these two fields as well so this is complete we have uh, two fields as well as two properties for our purpose and we have added two classes here one class of fine search to actually make the query and another class finest result to save the result let's close these two classes and finally just uh, we need to add a method to edit operation here and we are going to add a method called finest so the primary purpose of uh, finest is to get a search object and perform the search from the content and finally return the result object so the result uh, so the return type is find next result and uh, find next and it will be getting a parameter find next search it's as simple as that we will be getting a search object and do the search operation and uh, return a result find a stress okay. so let me open the form find window here you will be giving some string here which needs to be found in the whole content of text area and you can select any of the direction either upwards from a particular point or either downwards from a particular point and you can actually select match case so that and the search is performed ignoring the case 
or not ignoring the case and you can uh, find the next occurrence of this or you can actually close this form itself so this is what it is we need to write the logic for two directions up and down so here we need to consider that first let's create an object finest result object let's uh, return this object here we need to consider two cases upward direction and downward direction search let's see an example here and this is a sample text and i have placed the cursor here and i'm going to find something upwards or downwards so when the cursor is in this position and we are going to search upwards we need to only consider the substring of whole text area so you will be considering this part so this can be obtained by considering 0 to some position this position can be given from the main form itself so let's not worry here so 0 to some position here and this position to some end point here this search is downwards and this search is upwards so let's go to the code right now first uh, let's have a if statement and a search dot direction and I have said that direction is a string and it will take two values up and down either it can be up or it can be down and else condition is for when the search direction is down so we are going to need a position here and int position so this will give the position of search uh, string in the whole content this is actually a result let's the position in up, upward uh, search is position is equal to we are going to search in the content so we are going to search the content for and like I said we are going to search only half the content that is if the position is here we are going to search only here and we will be ignoring here so we can uh, separate that out by using substring function and substring we are going to give the length we will be providing the length from our main form itself uh, so let's not worry about it the search object will have uh, a particular uh, field to determine the length so let's give this position and uh, finally I need to use uh, last index of so last index of uh, search dot so what is the search string the this search dot search string is the search string here finally we need to give yes yes is the search comparison uh, parameter here so string comparison how we are going to compare the string whether it's case sensitive or not so yes is that kind of uh, parameter so if the search object has match case to be true we need to set the string com comparison current culture so this will basically case sensitive search and as opposed to we will be giving string comparison dot current culture ignore case so this is for case insensitive that is it can be capitalized or small letters it doesn't matter so that's it here so upward search is done and we will get the position here and we can uh, save the position in the result object is equal to a result so we are going to check whether the search is successful or not if the search is successful we are going to uh, save it result dot search status successful we are going to save the position otherwise we are going to give it as minus one itself say 
it's minus one also that we are going to define the success here search dot success it's and the success is de and determined based on the position value if the position is greater than or equal to zero then the uh, string is present here in the content and uh, the search is successful let's give if the string is greater than zero search is successful and it's true now otherwise it's false and we can uh, say the same here search status equal to let's save it here now finest result will uh, return the starting uh, selection start position value as well as the search status whether it's successful or not whether the search string is present in the content or not and now let's write the same for uh, downward direction in terms of uh, downward direction if the cursor position is here we need to search only the downward half and uh, so it will be like the current position to an end position and it will be given externally from uh, main form itself let's not worry about it we can uh, worry about this here so we are going to define uh, start where to start uh, that uh, so we have a variable int start and uh, this will uh, determine the start position so this becomes little tricky here let's see this so first when the cursor is in this position and i am going to search this it will select like this and when i am going to search further for the same string it should be searching from here to here it should be like this so we need to make sure that once this search is done this will the search will ignore this whole part and then uh, continue with the rem remaining part otherwise whenever i click uh, find nest it will uh, stay in this string itself and it won't uh, go for uh, the nest occurrence so that way we need to write this code for a start so if search dot success is true whether it's subsequent search instead of first search or not so boolean value by default is going to take a false value and if it is success it means uh, the search succeeded the first time and we are going to search the search for next time so if it is success we are going to search for the same search string the next time so we need to give it as search dot position plus search dot search string dot length basically we are doing nothing but when this is selected we are just adding a position starting position by adding the length of the string so that next time when the search is done it will be done here just add this length that is 4 in this case so that the search just happens the remaining part of the string here so that is what happens here in this once the search is done for the same substring just add the length of the search string so that the remaining part will be searched in the next uh, subsequent search and if it is not the subsequent search and it is the first time search then give it as search dot position and this should do good and finally we need to define uh, the position uh, as that of uh, what we did before here instead of uh, starting from uh, zero to some position we are going to start from a start value that is we are going to start from this particular position and it is contained in a start variable and then we are going to have this search dot content dot substring we are going to separate out the lower half here in this case here this part and like before we are going to define the boundaries here so 
this will be start and we need to have the length of the lower string it can be obtained by having the whole length minus this length so this length is given by start and this whole length is given by uh, built-in parameter itself just separate uh, separating both will give the required value for us content dot length minus start so we effectively selected the substring part that is the part we are interested in and finally we can just use index of previous case we used last index of here in, type, in terms of search it is index of itself that is first occurrence of the boundary selected here in upward direction and uh, last occurrence makes sense because first we need to select this and then we subsequent search will select this and this so we are going backwards so last index of in uh, here uh, we are going uh, in a normal direction so index of will make sense here index of like before we are going to give uh, search search string for this as well as uh, string comparison whether it's uh, case sensitive or case insensitive we have defined this yes before so let's reuse it so that's it this will give the actual position of the string uh, from the whole content itself and now we have to define uh, success like we did before in this case the success is to check whether position minus start is greater than or equal to zero if it is greater than or equal to zero then it means that the string is actually present in the whole content otherwise it's not basically this uh, separation is to compensate for and this addition here it will make sense if you think about it and finally just uh, save this uh, result search status is equal to search dot success the same thing is uh, returned here so this function is now complete and we will make use of this function in this next video for uh, find operation from uh, main form and uh, there is no demo for this video and demo will be in the next video itself so thank you guys for watching this video like and share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel for future videos thank you